Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at doing a saturation mask using the selective color control. And in that we'll look at how it works and how you can make it optimal and how to use it in a typical example. So we can start off. We're going to go here to adjustments and go to selective color. I've just set it so it appears above the top there through the assistant here by adding adjustment as a new layer. And what we do is, first of all, the relative box here, we uncheck that. And then for the colours, we're just going to turn down the blacks. So what we're saying here is push this up towards white for all the colours, which means we're going to select this. So the more colour there is, the more it's going to be selected. So I turn this up here yellows, turn this up here, and greens, and so on, and each one of these, wherever it's going to be white, push it towards white means more selection, so more colour, more selection, less colour, less selection. So we've selected that through the colours here, so this is going to be getting brighter here, but we now need to treat the monochromes, or those which are are the whites through to the blacks. So now we go through to the whites. Now we don't want to select those because we're selecting for colour saturation, so we push those in the other direction. So these are going to go up to blacks. And there we go. So there, the, the whiter it is, then the more it is selected. In other words, the more saturated it is. So you can see we can turn this off here and on here. So off, you can see this is where it's the reddest. And so it's selecting down here more. A bit more in the sky, some here, because it's a fairly saturated one, even though there's a bit of dark in that. However, if we look at the histogram up here, what we can see is actually it's only going from dark through literally to mid-grey. So this here is a mid-grey. So we go to the colour drag the pipette down there, you can see, look, it's red, green, blue, around 119, which is about halfway up to 255. So we'd like to stretch that, and the way to do that is to go to another adjustment here, so adjustments and levels, and we can see this is half the way up here, so we just need to bring the white level down to the end there, so now the the most selected here is going to be a white, so it can be a full selection. Otherwise, any other adjustments you're going to use with this are only going to be halfway effective. So, there we go. Now then, we need to convert this into a mask. The first thing to do with this is to go to Layer, Merge Visible, to give ourselves a layer like this. And then we're going to right-click on that and go Rasterize to Mask. But you can also get through the layer and rasterize to mask that way. So this is the mask here. These two here, the levels and the selective color here, we can turn them off, delete them, or just sort of drag them out the way. I'll just drop them at the bottom for now. So you could bring them back if you want to do a little bit more tweaking of it. By the way, with these, if you want to keep all those adjustments that you've made with the levels, or more particularly with the selective color, you can always go to here to add a preset and then you can get that access that again through windows and adjustments and so you've then not lost all those tweaks you made to that so now then with the mask i've got up here then which is showing through to the color here i want to then use this so what i'm going to do is going to put in a HSL for now, up there. I'm going to turn the mask off for the moment to show you what happens normally. So with this, if I turn the saturation down, it goes grey. If I turn it up, it becomes more colourful. But what happens is all the colours here, so look at, say, area like this. Notice this is grey, but it's a slight tint of blue. But when you saturate it, it all of a sudden all the colours go up there. And also if you're doing with the luminosity, the whole thing goes to black and see so it just becomes you know it, it may be useful like that but 
often you don't want it to go like that the other way it just looks like it's in fog so what we do is apply that mask to here so we turn the mask on and drag it up and drop it onto the top of the HSL so nothing's happened at the moment so no problem but you'll see now when we mask it if I turn the saturation up you can see that saturation is now affecting those areas here which are more selected this area becomes more saturated or I can go the other way down here turn this down a bit when I'm turning this down I'm only turning down this area here so I can balance out if I want a more muted picture this then lets me turn down just the saturated colors perhaps more usefully is the luminosity one rather than just going all black or all white now when I turn this down here you can see the whole picture is going slightly dark but it's preserving the monochromes here so the blacks and the whites and so on so what you get is a more realistic kind of evening picture where it's getting darker and up the other way you can make the whole thing light but again it preserves the monochromes in it so you've got a reasonable picture and this is the kind of thing it lets you do it preserves monochromes whilst it is applying that adjustment anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching